welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video I would like to show you how to set up the present sensor in combination with YoYo in order to get content based on movements. So what we've done is we received the board from Nextmosphere, as you can see right here. And at the top right corner you can see the present sensor, which basically indicates if a person is within a certain reach of your device. Now what we have done is we have split the distance into two sections. This image will be visible when the sensor detects movement from far away and whenever it detects movement from up close, it will show this video from Samsung. So we've done this with the Nextmosphere present sensor in combination with our YoYo device. So the sensor is connected to the YoYo device and the YoYo device is connected to the internet. And via the internet the content will be displayed on the device. Now the big question is how do we all set this up and how do we create content for this? So at first we will head over to our YoYo website which is basically signing into our YoYo reader. Now here you can see the two tri triggers that we created already. However if we click on new trigger to show you how it's done we will provide you with another example. First you have to give your trigger a name. Now this can be literally anything just to make sure it has a name which makes it easier to find back. Now the input type will be the next atmosphere board and the output type will be a magic info display. So select these and click on next. So at step two you have to record an action. And the action is basically your hand hovering over the sensor so that it detects any distance. As you can see. So the present sensor detects zones and has 10 zones in which you can determine you want to show the content. Now we split it up. So what I have done is from zone 1 to 5 it will show the image and from zone 6 to 10 it will show the video. And this is where you can determine this. The trigger will be the name you have to find back in Magic Info and the target is the IP address of the device you want the content to show to. So whenever that is done you can hit save and as you can see the trigger is now also visible. So the top two triggers are the two triggers that I have used in this example and which can also be found back if we head over to Magic Info. So you head over to Magic Info, go to content and open the web author. Here you have to select your supported device again. Now we would like to remind you that YoYo is only available from S6 players and higher. And this is basically the image that you just saw on the device as well. Which is, can be seen as the screensaver or the homepage. Now here at the bottom you can see the different pages for the triggers. So the second page will be the image and the fourth page will be the video. At the bottom of each section you have to determine the timing. Always make sure that the home screen will be running for 24 hours. Here at the top you can edit the triggers. So you can add them at the bottom if you want to, if you want to add another trigger for example. And the name that you fill in right here has to match with the trigger name you set in YoYo. And then you can determine to what page you want it to go to. So these are the two triggers that I have. Now since this is one home page, I have set my triggers to I have to make sure that the triggers are also set on my second home page. So what it will do if it, if it goes to the image for example on page 2, it will show the image for 5 seconds and head over to page 3, which will then be the new home page. So you have to make sure to fill it in this way, save the LFD file and of course schedule it and assign it to the assigned group of devices. Again make sure to select the S6 player and drag and drop the content item into the agenda. So select your group, hit save and save and publish and the content and the triggers will be assigned to it. Now here's another example of a detection walking by a display 
and the content starts playing immediately. So this will be a video which will be shown whenever someone passes by or close to the device or the sensor in this case. Now if we take a bit of a greater distance away from the sensor, it will again show the image that you also saw in the very beginning. So this is how to work with the Nextmosphere present sensor and how to set it up in Magic Info and YoYo. Thanks for watching.